Here's the real truth about creatine and timing. After the loading phase, it really doesn't matter at all when you take it. You just have to be consistent with it. So the sweet spot for everyone is about three to five grams. Almost every package you see will basically just say five grams. So here's the deal. The five gram rule came from studies done on men, which are obviously bigger than my five foot two frame. But your body simply excretes that extra amount. So it doesn't actually use it. It just gets rid of it. So that's why if you stay within that three to five gram rule that pretty much is universal for everyone. Now let's talk about the loading phase because there's a lot of people that have opinions about this. You can do the shortcut route within two weeks of a loading phase, although I would not recommend it unless you want to risk feeling sick to your stomach. I say just go the standard route, the four weeks. That's approximately how long it takes for you to reach full capacity in stores. Now let's talk about timing. Assuming that you're going to go the four week route, timing can matter a little. After your workout, not before, that's when you want to take creatine. And this is because after a workout, your blood flow and insulin sensitivity is higher. So in that state, your muscles are primed and ready to absorb nutrients, including creatine. Think of insulin as kind of like the Uber that drives creatine straight into those muscles. Also a secret that I don't see a lot of people talking about is pairing it with certain foods to help increase absorption. Taking creatine with carbs and protein can actually help you fill up a little faster. It's not a huge difference, maybe just a few days in stores, but it's definitely a difference. Once your stores are full around week Four, the story changes. Your muscles can't hold on to any more. The transporters are maxed out. So from then on, creatine timing really does not matter. You're basically just replacing that small amount that your body uses every day. And even if you train hard and deplete some of that phosphocreatine that your body uses, your body restores that within hours from normal metabolism. Whether you take that daily dose after your workout or before bed, the long-term levels stay the same. Creatine does not interfere with sleep or hormones. So if you prefer to take it at night after your initial four week period, totally fine. After that four week loading phase, consistency is what's going to matter most. Taking it once a day, no matter what time it is.